guys, it's Ryan again. So today I will show you how to use SageMaker processing gap to, uh, uh, to process a task. Imagine that when you create the machine learning process that you need uh, a task that we run individually or a task is run in your step. So at here, at example here in the book here, I will show you how to use SageMaker processing to uh, uh, to uh, easily with, uh, process the data, like uh, for data processing, we split uh, our data into chain uh, validation and test file for for you to easily to understand what is technical process is. Yeah, so this notebook is uh, uh, correspond to section preprocessed data with a PBN scikit-learn container. So as you know that. Uh, AWS SageMaker is integrated with uh, many uh, BWIN uh, library like uh, scikit-learn that we uh, make it into container for us to easily to for process AWS SageMaker process to easily to run it into uh, individual environment. Yeah, so uh, uh, this example is a library example of using SageMaker processing to create gen test and validation datasets. And uh, SegMaker is used to create these data set and uh, their own written into back back into S3. Yeah. So uh, first one we uh, go to repair the resource, and next is download the data from S3. Yeah. And after that we prepare the processing script to submit into Scikit uh, container in SegMaker. Yeah. And uh, next is uh, run. The processing job, and we go to detail where's, uh, what uh, happened uh, when we uh, submit the job. Yeah, and the last one is conclusion. So to repair resource here, uh, we need to create the section of a set maker. Yeah, and also we need to uh, import the SKLearn processor preview integrate into set maker SDK. Yeah, and also we uh, create your own for this uh, notebook. So uh, as I mentioned uh, in pre previous video, that uh, how uh, this drone must uh, need to access with uh, SegMaker and also S3. So I will do that again for you, how to copy the ARN drone here for you. So first one, we need to go to the IAM of AWS. And we can create the own. And you can choose uh, AWS service to do that. But I already created that, so I will pause uh, my already own. Okay, I already created a segment own here. You can also create own here, right? So as you can see that uh, we have the role of a uh, SegMaker full access. Yeah. And also we have the role, the custom role for S3, getting uh, access to S3. Yeah. And we can all, uh, I mean, we also need to copy the ARN here and pass into our notebook, right? So um, a dependency is that uh, uh, here I learn, run the notebook in locals. But you have to need uh, need to access into uh, AWS uh, resource that uh, we need to config uh, in our local host. Like I can do that for you again. Like we need to AWS configure. So do that. You need to fill. You need to feel to access a key and also a secret key for you and also default you here I use US East one and also the output format here I choose JSON. So after uh, defining the uh, key here, this means that you uh, this uh, account is a uh, uh, need have full access uh, into uh, SegMaker or, or is an account and uh, uh, we can uh, attach the rune for, for this account at uh, this one here. Okay, next is we download the data. 
So it's a sample data from S3 bucket. And uh, this example is a census income data set from a UCI machine learning repo repository. Okay. And uh, we connect to S3 and download file from uh, uh, we download file from uh, S3 and uh, we save it into census income CSV. Okay. So we read that file in our local and uh, we show uh, the first five lines. So we check the data. Yeah, the data is downloaded already, right? The census income CSV. So that's why we can load that in our local. We download to, uh, from a stream. Yeah. Okay, we we'll prepare the process script and uh, we use the annotation right file here to write the uh, entire code in, the, in this cell uh, to uh, pre-processing file file. Okay, so we go through the detail. The first one is uh, we uh, uh, get uh, the path of data. Okay, we upload this data set file into uh, the uh, container. Yeah, the uh, circuit learn container. We read the file and also split that into uh, <coughs> 80% and 20% with chain test, and we also split uh, uh, like that with the chain and validation, right? And uh, also we try to make uh, make those uh, make a folder for our chain validation and test file, and uh, we accept if uh, it is already created. Okay. So the next thing is uh, we will save. Uh, our data frame into a new file with each gen validation and test, right? And we will bring the complete running job. Okay, it's really easy to understand. And we use the escalator here, scikit-learn, right? So running a job, first uh, we need to defile, okay? Uh, the escalator will run our code here, is uh, our file we here. We submit that file. Yeah, and I will define the input and the output. So the input here, we need to define the processing input with the source. The source here could be uh, as from S3 uh, URI or can be your locals. If, uh, if, the, if the file is in your local, uh, it will submit automatically into S3, okay? And uh, uh, the, uh, the, the container we use uh, this file uh, and uh, we will transfer that and move that into uh, the container with this uh, destination. And also the same with in output here. The processing output, the source, the source is uh, from uh, the container. Yeah, and destination will be in S3. So imagine that our data is always uh, stored in S3, right? Okay. So <coughs> we will check the uh the resource here okay we go to set maker Okay, we go to the processing here. Processing job. Yeah, you can see that it's our SigMaker circuit learn here. Okay, it's uh, like what we define. So our file submit file here is a prepare processing the power. And instant cow is one, right? Okay. The local part here. Right. And the local part chain here. Validation and test here. So the job is done, complete. It is complete, right? <clears throat> and we'll bring now the job, the, the information about the job here. 
as you can see, the input is uh, stored into input data sets, right? We go to S3 to find detail. And also, we go to the output here. If we store in output one with the uh, output, the output, let me check it. The output one is drain, the output two is validation, and the output three is the test, right? Okay, we go to uh, the S3 to confirm. Okay, cyclone, cyclone, input. Okay, let me check UI again. Cyclone output. Okay, output must be output, right? So here. Output here, so output one, chain right. So output two, validation right. Output three, is test CSC file. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, the uh, the way to uh, confirm the data is uh, put or really put a process into S three. But we can do like in uh, another way with a uh, SDK, Python SDK, right? And we can print that so you can see output one chain output two with validation and output three is test so <clears throat> to summarize that in this notebook yeah we read the data from s3 and process that into and split that into chain test and validation sets and using technical processing job with the scikit learn yeah and you can is, uh, extend your uh, example with processing your own uh, data sets in uh, preparation uh, for machine learning application or you can also uh, using this processing job to do another another task into uh, machine learning pilot so uh, this own uh, is on for now so if you like um, uh, if you love my video you can subscribe and like and share to so don't miss any uh, uh, any machine learning updates from Brian yeah bye